welcome to this learning video. So this is the last learning video that we have on numerical integration. Okay. So here in this learning video, we will see the example on it. Okay. So see what this example says. This example says evaluate this integral by using Simpson's rule for n is equal to 6. Now, here comes a dilemma in the mind of the students. Here n is equal to 6. 6 is even. 6 is multiple of 3. Then which one to use? Okay. So first of all, I will solve this with the help of Simpson's 3 8 rule. Then I will solve with the help of Simpson's 1 third rule. And at last, I will give a conclusion like which one to prefer while there is a problem like this. Okay, so let us start with this. So we are given here like f of x is equal to what is it? 1 upon 1 plus x square. The number of interval, the number of interval that is n is equal to 6. What are the limits? The limits are lower limit a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 6. Okay? Now, with the help of all this, we can find out the interval of difference in h. h is equal to b minus a by n that is 6 minus 0 by 6 that is 1. So we have the interval of difference in 1. So we have values of x from 0 to 6 with the interval 1. So let us draw the table. So here we have the values of x. Here values of y is equal to f of x. So very first value is 0, then 1. 2, 3, then 4, then 5, and then 6. Okay? And the corresponding value of f of x you can find out. This is 1. This is 1 plus 1. That is 1 by 2. Okay? Then this is 2 square is 4. So 1 by 5 it is. Then this is 1 by 10. This is 1 by 16 plus 1. 17. This is 1 upon 1 plus 25, this is 1 upon 1 plus 36, that is 37. So I will make use of Simpson's 3-8 rule first and then I will solve by Simpson's 1-3 rule as well. So I will write here by, by Simpson's 3-8 rule, by Simpson's 3-8 rule, Integration from 0 to 6, 1 upon 1 plus x square dx is equal to, what is it? h, 3h by 8. In bracket, we have the term of y0 and yn. Here it would be y0 and yn would be y6. We forget to name them. y0, y1, y2, y3 y4, y5 and y6. So we have the value y0, y6. Then what it is? Then you have a 3 as a multiple of suffixes which are not multiple of 3. That is 3 times y1, y3, y5 plus 2 times the values of y with suffixes multiple of 3 that is y3 only. y6 we have already taken over here. Okay, now substitute all these values. So this is 3, h is 1 by 8. What is y0? 1 plus y6, 37, 1 by 37. 3 times, what is y1? 1 by 2, y3, 1 by 10. And y5, 1 by 26. 1 by 2, 1 by 10, 1 by 26. Plus 2 times 
what is it y3 what is y3 it's 1 by what is y3 1 by 10 okay so this is y1 y2 and y three times the suffixes which are not multiple of three so one two four and five would be there plus two times y3 okay so this is one by two then y2 is one by nine sorry one by five then we have one by seventeen plus one by twenty six plus 2 times 1 by 10 okay now you solve these values <coughs> when you solve these values you will get 1.3571 this is nothing but the integration of 1 upon 1 plus x squared dx from limit this so this answer we got with the help of 3 by 8 rule let us apply 3 by 1 by 3 rule one third rule now by Simpson's one-third rule, by Simpson's one-third rule, we can solve integration from 0 to 6, 1 upon 1 plus x square dx is equal to h by 3, then there would be y0 plus y6 plus 3 times odd multiple of y that is y1 y3 y5 plus 2 times even multiple of y suffixes so this is y2 plus y4 now you have these values h is 1 so this is 1 by 3 here you have the value 1 plus 1 by 37 plus 3 times what is the value of y1 Value of y1 is 1 by 2. Value of y3 is 1 by 10. And value of y5 is 1 by 26. Plus 2 times value of y2, 1 by 5, y4, 1 by 17. Okay? And now, I want you to pause the video for few seconds. Try to get this answer and resume the video. So I hope you might have got the answer. So just one correction here. This is not 3. This is 4. Okay. So you might have done the calculations. Uh, I forget to write it is 4 rather than 3. So what answer you are getting? 1.3662. That is the value of this integral. Approximate answer. 1 upon 1 plus x square dx. Okay. Now if you look at these two answers. This is 1.3662. This is 1.3571. So. Here as you can see. With the help of Simpson's one third rule. We have a better value than this. So this value is because of more errors. Here in one third rule, the number of errors are less. Okay, here the number of error is more. That's why there is a difference in the values. And these difference in the values are due to the errors. So, next time, whenever you have a problem, that evaluate any integral with the help of Simpson's rule. And if you have the value of n to be 6 or a multiple of 3, Okay, which is also an even number. So, I will recommend you to always use Simpson's one-third rule. This will give you far better answer than Simpson's 3-8 rule. Okay, that is the concluding remark for this numerical technique number 3. Okay, so this is what we have in this learning video. If you have any doubt or queries, Feel free to ask. You can write your queries or doubts in the comment section as well. So, thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics.